Today, we're going to explore what happens when edge computing meets three distinct industries. This is the future of. Today, I'm going to be talking to Luca Marchi, an expert and leader in the retail industry. So Luca, thanks for joining me here today. What do you think is going to be the opportunity to transform the retail industry with the introduction of edge computing? Uh, retailers, they gather a lot of data about their consumer, both internal and external, but the main touch point is the cashier. What you bought, at what price and when, how frequently you buy it. But think about how many different products you look at in a supermarket. All those things are not really captured. So you can use smart devices in different areas of a store and collect those touch points and understand more deeply your customer behavior. So really the benefit of edge computing in the future of retail is really going to come from the power of personalization. Yeah, I totally agree. Personalization is going to be so important. You need to sell to everybody, but with very different and specific customer experience. So what do you find most exciting about this emerging world of edge computing in the retail industry? Well, I believe there are three things that are super exciting. The first one it could be the fully automated store. The second one is the ability to leverage data that is not generated in the store. And the third one is a complete immersive experience characterized by virtual reality or augmented reality. Which kind of brings us back to then the other part of the equation in, for the retailers and the pressure that they're under economically is how to do so, how to introduce these capabilities at lower cost. So Edge also has the great advantage of the cloud of being flexible and scalable. This really helps the cost effectiveness of integrating and deploying an Edge network. Also the maintenance costs are very limited because you can still manage them centrally, but you are able to deploy different software according to the different situation. So Luca, I really want to thank you for being here today. It's going to be exciting and uh, I'm glad to have you here on board with us to take us through that journey. Val, welcome here. Thank you for uh, bringing your expertise in the area of financial services. What does edge computing mean to the financial services industry? With edge computing, we're able to go that next step of engagement with consumers anywhere, anytime, right? So we have ATMs. In an ATM environment, currently today, there are cameras. We wanna make sure it's a safe environment, but also in this situation where there is fraud, uh, they have the data collected to be able to, you know, look at the log files and see what happens. That's all post event though. So what we can do now is in real time, identify that we have a risk, either to human safety or to fraudulent behavior. And with that, alert within financial markets, for example, in trading. You know, decisions have to be made so rapidly in that environment. And you know, the latency, network bandwidth, and sending things to the cloud to make decisions, this just is prohibitive. So the ability to bring those analytics right down to the edge where the data is created at the network and then alert for decision making in milliseconds can be a huge differentiator in gains. To me, it's a very exciting time in our industry. Well, Val, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for your insight, your expertise. So, Upal, I want to thank you so much for being here today. So let's talk a little bit about the distinction between 5G and Edge, because we use them interchangeably sometimes, but in fact, they're quite different, aren't they? Absolutely. So a Edge use case can also be done in 4G. Edge is independent of 5G, but 5G will provide a whole new set of opportunities or use cases that never existed in a 4G environment. A classic example would be a use case which existed in 4G, but it may not have those latency, may not have those network slicing features, may not have those bandwidths, and so its ability to be powerful or impactful would be limited. 5G will transform it. 5G is the fuel for edge computing. Absolutely. That's the right way of putting it. If I'm a CIO for a telco, what should I be thinking about in terms of my future and where I need to be taking the business? We talk about their industry in three strategic imperatives. The first one is digital customer engagement. How do you improve the experience for the end user? 
The second one is network and cloud agility. How do you leverage cloud, virtualize networks, etc.? And then the third one is enterprise transformation. And it sort of really kind of comes down to accelerating delivery of value, reducing operating costs and increasing efficiency, and giving a deeper return on investment. Absolutely. I mean, the telcos are going to be the key enablers for ensuring that the industries take advantage of the 5G. This was a great conversation. I appreciate your expertise and all the things that you've had to say about the telco industry, the world of 5G and edge computing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rob. It's uh, exciting. Really enjoyed this conversation.